Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be um, seeing if we can change out the hard drive from this Humax FreeSat box um, and we're going to see if we can swap it out for an SSD drive. We've got no idea if it's going to fit in there or if the system is going to detect it um, but the hard drive that we used for recording on this has gone pop so um, we're going to see if we can swap it out for an SSD. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, we've got our device here. So I've already changed the drive in here once um, for another hard disk, uh, but that didn't last very long. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna see if we can get an SSD drive installed in here. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna remove the cover. And to do that, we're gonna take out this screw on the back. we can get it out. There we go. That's the screw removed. And then the lid should we should be able to prise the lid off somehow. One down on here, so I'm going to get a little screwdriver. I didn't see these, but there's some release clips that you can get to. So you just go in from the bottom. That was a lot easier once you know they're there. There we go. So you just go around and release the clips that are actually in the tray, and then the lid should come off. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. So we've got a Seagate one terabyte drive here. So let's get this out and then have a look to see if we're going to be able to get a, a different drive type in there. So we just remove the one screw on the side, the bracket down here. The bracket will come off like that. And then you can see where the drive plugs into it back here so we want to now flip the unit over got four screws to remove here which I'm assuming are holding the, the drive in so we'll get that one out Okay, so that's the four drive screws removed. So now we should just be able to slide this drive forward and out, which we can. So no fancy mounting bracket in here that we can see. This is just uh, undo the screws, unclip the drive from, from the SATA connection at the back there. Right, so let's now have a look to see if we've got anything that might do as a mount platform. Which we don't. So at this point we can either find another hard drive to put in or I've got a mounting tray and I might be able to use a might be able to use an SSD drive. So here we've got a one terabyte SSD. Let's now see if we, this cage will fit. If this cage will fit in here, then potentially we've got the ability to mount an SSD drive instead. So this is a Sabrent uh, Two and, a half, uh, two and a half to three and a half inch drive converter. Now if this, if we get any holes to line up. Okay, so this drive cage is just too big. So let's, so that drive cage won't work in there because it's proprietary. 
this layout or format is proprietary so that's not going to sit on there because it's too big this is not going to sit on there because none of the holes line up which are the two drive trays that I've got so let's have a look to see if we can mount this directly probably not going to be able to Okay, so we take our two and a half inch drive, let's have a look, see where the screw holes line up. Okay, so it's not going to fit in there either. So, at best, we can just slide that in there, like that, and potentially mount it with some couple of blobs of hot glue. But for now, let's just, let's just have a look see if we've got some sort of temporary mounting solution which we do. So we've got a bit of Velcro which we can do in the short term just to hold it there while we test this. Potentially what we want to do is put it on the, this back mounting bracket so we don't need it so thick. So let's go ahead and trim this off. So here I'm just using uh, an old cover from a laptop to cut this against, so I don't cut the worktop. So let's remove that from there. We only need a tiny bit. One to go there, so let's get that peeled off. Just going to take that bit, pop that over the top of the mounting hole, like that, and then we're going to slide the drive in, like that, and then we're going to mark where the centre is on the drive. So we can see where this bit needs to go, it needs to go right on the edge there in the centre. So let's get that peeled off. Like that. So now when we slide the drive in, like that, we can now Place that down on there, and that's now Velcroed in place. So although it's a little bit wobbly, it's not going to go anywhere. Which is that done. Now, as far as I'm aware, it's just a matter of popping it all back together. So let's make sure that all goes on correctly, which it does like that. But no need to put the mounting screws back in. No need to put the bracket for that in, but I am going to keep them to one side. So all we need to do now, while we're testing, is to pop the screw back in the back. There we go. So I want to get connected with a network cable. goes, we've got an HDMI here, we've got a network cable that's going to be plugging in there, we're going to plug our power in, and then I'm not going to worry about any aerials yet, and switch that on. So we have a, a red light just showing, on, showing under here, which you can't see, but uh, and under there there's a red light there shine through, just about see it there, so let's press the power button, see if anything happens, if we get any output. Okay, so we have a video signal, which is good, let's see if the remote works, okay, does the remote work, no, okay, let's change the batteries, so 
with some new batteries in the controller. Right, let's go down to settings. Let's get it in the centre of the screen and see what we're doing. Right, okay, so let's go to <coughs> um, general settings, recording. Okay, that's all right. On screen display. Okay, so let's go back, it's not on that menu. Let's go down to system settings, storage. Here we go. The hard drive has not been formatted properly. To record programs, press OK. The storage menu will format the hard drive. Do OK. And it's formatting now. So what I've put in here, I've put in a one terabyte um, SSD drive as opposed to this one that we had here um, which was a Seagate one terabyte mechanical hard drive that was just a PC drive basically as you can see it says desktop hard disk and um, yeah that lasted about two months something like that the drive that I took out of here was a, um, a video drive so it's a purple video drive so be interesting to see how this works with uh, an SSD drive. So we'll leave that formatting, but we do have a blue light on the front now. Um, so functionality uh, should be okay. Okay, so sure enough, that didn't take too long uh, afterwards. So let's now say, so that's the storage. So if we go into our hard drive, so it's given us available size of 888 gigabytes and uh, that is everything so let's come out of there and go to come out of there as well go down to power saving automatic power down is on standby mode is on <coughs> okay so we're going to leave all of that software update update the latest software make sure your box maintains optimal performance okay so let's go over to the right and click on search for new software so because we're plugged in with the network cable it should have an internet connection okay new software is not detected select manual software update to begin in the frequency and other technical stuff okay let's have a look at that ah, okay so this is detecting from the air basically so if we come back back out there. Okay, so it's going to want a connection by the satellites for its upgrade. Not sure if there's a USB port on here. There is a USB port on here, so we might be able to uh, download it and load it from the USB port. So, system information. Okay network information picked up its details that's all working properly okay. so believe it or not that's all there is to it so um, that seems to have worked all we need to do now is to get our RF aerial connected um, into one and two and that gives you the ability to watch on watch one channel record another channel um, but that now gives us the full functionality of this again. So this is great news. So I'm going to add this to our setup and do some testing with it, make sure that the hard disk or the SSD drive in it works okay. But um, I've got no reason to suspect that it won't work. So uh, I think all in all, a good, a good job done. So if you found that video useful, again, um, take of it as you will. Um, we have no idea if this is going to work or not but so far so good the fact that it detected the drive formatted it um, we should be able to plug this in and record our programs again and hopefully it'll be a bit more reliable than putting a second hand um, hard drive in from a desktop pc <laughs> um, so give us a thumbs up if you liked it give us a thumbs up if you didn't like it and uh, we'll see you in the next one